Hello everyone, this is me Arijit back with a new video. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can create deep fakes or you can do face swapping in a simple way. Now before I start this video, I want to say that this video is for educational purpose only. So don't misuse this content. And in this video, we are only going to explore how we can use AI for in this kind of fields. Okay. Now, if you don't know what a deep fake is or what is a face swapping thing, first see this video where Leonardo DiCaprio is talking about something. It says, uh, the Revenant was a product of the tireless efforts of an unbelievable cast and crew I, I got to work alongside. First off, to my brother in this endeavor, Mr. Tom Hardy. Okay, now I have applied deep fake on this, like I have applied face swapping in this video and now I have put my face there. So now you see how it looks like. It says, uh, the Revenant was a product of the tireless efforts of an unbelievable cast and crew I, I got to work alongside. First off, to my brother in this endeavor, Mr. Tom Hardy. So I think from the last video, you understood what a deep fake is. Okay. And basically, it's really hard to say that from the last video that that person is not me. Okay. So now, as you can see here, I'm talking with you. And within a second, Leonardo DiCaprio is talking with you. So this is how basically deep fakes works. Okay. And now basically to create all the things I just showed you, you don't need to write any kind of coding or you don't need any powerful computer or software. Okay. All the things we are going to do in Google Colab, which is free and also the codes I'll provide you. Okay. So you don't need to write a code or need a big computer. And now we can actually start. But before we start it, make sure you have subscribed to your channel so that whenever you are going to make a content like this, you will get update. And now let's get started. Okay guys, so now let's start the video. Now before I show you how you can create a deep fake, so I'll tell you in one or two lines, I'll tell you like how, uh, what algorithms are used in deep fake. So in deep fakes, mainly GANs are get used. Now basically there are two algorithms, like one thing is called a generator and one is called a discriminator. So what generator does, generator is basically going to create the deep fake frames. So let's say this is the original video and here instead of my face, I am putting someone else's face. So generator is going to generate those faces and then it is going to pass those faces to the or the frames to the discriminator. Now discriminator is going to say, okay, this is not real or fake. So it will say that, okay, this is fake. And I think this is fake because this thing. So these are the main defects you have created. And that's why I think it is fake. Now that feedback it is going to give to the generator. So next time generator is going to take the feedback and based on the feedback, it is going to improve its deep fake. Okay. Or the deep fake it previously created, it's going to improve that. In this way, this cycle will occur multiple times. And in this way, it's going to after like at the end, it is going to create a really good deep fake. Okay. So this is how basically deep fakes are getting generated. Okay. And nowadays, like uh, mostly GANs and auto encoders are used to create deep fakes. Okay. Now to create deep fakes, we really need to train a very big model. Okay. It's like we need to train the model with multiple faces, but here we are not going to do that because there is already train models available in market, those models we can use. So in this video also, we are going to use one of those models and using that model, we are going to create the videos or create the deep fakes. Okay. So now let's get into the Google Colab and I'll show you how it works. Okay. So here, the very first thing is you have to go to our GitHub repo. There you will get this defect.ipnb file. You, this file you need to open in your Google Colab. So you can just go to here. You can download the zip file. Next, you can go to your browser. You can search for Google Colab. So I'll just do it. Google Colab. There you open the Google Colab and here you open Colab. Okay. And here you need to go to upload and you need to upload that file, that defect.ipnb file you have downloaded from our repo. Okay. So once you upload this file, it is going to open in Google Colab. Okay. So let's just wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, it has opened. And next we have to connect it. Now before connecting, you have to go to view resources from here. And there you have to change run type to T4 GPU. Okay. Because if you run on CPU, it will take a lot of time for, for you to train the model. Okay. Or not train the model actually to create the videos. So make sure you just select the T4.T4 GPU. Okay. And you save it. And then you can actually do the connect. So once you connect, it will be connected in few seconds. Okay. Then the very first thing here is we have to clone the GitHub repo, this GitHub repo in the collab. So this is basically the original repo and here you have all the codes. So this repo you have to clone in the 
uh, in the Google Colab. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to once it gets connected. So as you can see, it has connected and it's T4. That means T4 GPU is also connected. So here you have to come and you have to just click on this play button. OK, and this whole uh, cell will be executed. The libraries will get installed automatically. So you just have to wait for a few minutes, two, three minutes and it will be installed. OK. So once this thing is installed, next you have to run this, uh, you have to download a model. So like I already mentioned that uh, basically you need a pre-trained model to do all these things. So here we are using this model. So after you like press the play button, it is going to download the model for you. And then the very final thing is like you have to uh, generate a video. Now to generate a video, what you have to do, you have to change two things. One is the source video, I would say, or targeted video. Okay, where you want to put the face and also you have to, you need the image of the face. These two things you need. One is a video where you want to put the face and then the image of the face, two things. So here if you see python run.py target, here you have to put the video link, whatever this I'll show you, how it works I'll show you by running it. So content slash video.mp4, that here you have to put your targeted video uh, path and there you have to give the output video quality. This can be from 1 to 100. Now 80, it will, if you put 80 or 100, the quality will be very low, but the time taken will be less. If you give something like 30 or 40, the video quality will be good. Let's say put it 30, the video quality will be good, but it will take a little bit more time. I think it will take around 5, 6, 5 to 10 minutes of time, depending on the, so 5 to 10 minutes of time for a video of 10 seconds. Okay. If you have a very large video, it will take a lot of time. Next, you have to give source. Now here in the source, you have to give the uh, image of the face. Okay. So you need a image of a face and make sure the face is completely visible and the full face should be there. Okay. So that you have to put it here. You have to change the path. And finally, you have to give the, this you don't need to change. This is going to be the output uh, name of the file. So in here it's swab.mp4. Okay. So here in this side, if you come here, we'll get all the files. So swab.mp4 will be stored here. Okay. And then finally here, these things you don't need to change anything. And this cell you need to run and automatically after, depending on the size of the video, like I mentioned for 10 second video, if you choose a quality of 30, 40, it takes around 10 to 50, like five to 10 minutes around. Okay, so based on that, it will take the time. So now I'm going to run the whole model. Now before that, uh, what I'll do is I have to upload a video. So here as an example, I'm going to use this video. So here my source video is this one. So the video I just showed you. So this is the, uh, the source video I'm using or the target video you can say I'm going to use and I'll put my face. So for that I have this my face here. This is the my face image that I'll put. Okay. So these two things. So I need to upload these two things. So what I'll do, I'll just take them and drop it here. Okay. And also I will take my photo and I'll put it here. In Google Colab, it takes some time if you upload it this way. The better way is if you have a very large video file, you can upload it to Google Drive and then you can import it here. Uh, if you do it this way, it will take some time. For small videos, it doesn't take a lot of time. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to run this cell. Okay. And I'll show you. So it will take some time. So I'll fast forward the video. Okay. So as you can see here, like uh, I have already executed all the cells. So the first cell I have executed, so all the libraries are already being installed. And the next cell also I've executed. So basically here we have downloaded the model and the video.mp4 file is already uploaded and the PNG file is also uploaded. Okay. So next here, what you have to do is you just have to go here, copy the MP4 file path. And instead of this thing, you have to paste your path here. Okay. And similarly, you have to go to the image file path and you have to just copy it and you have to paste it here. Okay. You can also use a JPEG file or JPG or PNG, whatever. Okay. And once you have did it, you can, if you want, you can also change the output name. So in my case, it's swap.mp4, but I don't want to change it, but you can also change it if you want. Okay. And then you just have to run it. Okay. And like I already mentioned, based on your video size, it will take some time. So let's just wait for five to 10 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you how the end output video looks like. Okay, so as you can see here uh, that, that it has created a video and as you can see processing to video succeed. Okay, and uh, as I have given the name swap.mp4, this is here, it will save the file. From here, you can just download it. Click on a download and it will be downloaded. I already have downloaded it. And if you run this file, as you can see. This is, uh, the Revenant was a product of the tireless efforts of an unbelievable cast and crew I, I got to work alongside. First off to my brother in this so endeavor. As you can see, this is how it looks like. Okay. So basically in this way, uh, you can create, uh, you can just have to put your video path here and your image path here, and it is going to create a video. 
and here also you can mention the quality and based on the quality the time will be also dependent okay so this is how it is working okay guys thank you for watching this video i hope you have learned something from this video but again i'm saying don't misuse this content you you can use it for your own experiment but don't use it for anything else and if you have liked this video please hit the like button subscribe to your channel so that whenever you are going to make a new video you will get the update and now stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video